Um, the jetty has now moved, Cyclone Debbie slams into Daydream Island, now pummeling mainland. Cyclone Debbie is beginning to cross the North Queensland coast, just north of Ellie Beach, and police answering emergency calls have told of increasingly panicked calls for help from across the region. The Bureau of Meteorology says the very destructive eye wall of the Category 4 storm has begun to make landfall between Ellie Beach and Bowen. But it says it could be another two hours before the center of the eye of the storm crosses the coast. One caller said the roof was peeling off an apartment building and another was cowering in a laundry after the roof of a house caved in, police told AAP from the Cyclone Response Center in Brisbane. Meanwhile, the vast cyclone's savage winds continue to batter the Whitsundee Islands. One photo posted on social media showed a jetty smashed to pieces on Daydream Island. Um, the jetty has now moved Paula Singleton posted on Facebook alongside an image of a shattered jetty in a wild sea. Daydream Island Resort and Spa has since reported the worst appeared to be over and that all guests and staff were safe. Once the rain and winds subside we will ascertain the extent of the damage the resort posted on Facebook. On Hamilton Island gusts of 263 km per hour have been recorded and footage showed huge trees bending and breaking under the strain of the wind. It's so far unclear what structural damage, if any, has been caused. At Proserpine, southwest of the beach town, pig farmer Christina Della Vale has lost a large machinery shed and two others that housed her animals. The pigs are in front of the house. I can't go there to check on them. It is too dangerous. There are so many uprooted trees and flying debris. Fortunately I don't have any newborn piglets because they'd be swept away she told ABC Radio. At Mackay, there were a large number of downed power lines and fallen trees, including one monster tree blocking the Peak Downs Highway. AAP photographer Dan Paylate, who's in a hotel at Ellie Beach, said his ears were popping from pressure changes caused by the cyclone. We just had a branch fly into our window Mr. Paylate said. We've got howling winds, torrential rain. The trees are sideways. There's lots of vegetation debris and there's a bit of water in the hallway. We're just looking at a wall of white with the trees, we can't see much. It's full on. Whitsundee councillor Jan Clifford spent the morning watching trees take flight from her backyard at Ellie Beach. A huge tree in my backyard has been uprooted and has taken out our fence Miss Clifford told AAP. That was a rainforest tree pushing a meter in diameter. It should have been okay. Another tree has landed on my roof. The wind is so loud. More than 20,000 households are without power, and almost 400 schools and child care centers in the north are closed, 